this video, I'll be recreating some vintage old Hollywood waves inspired by Veronica Lake. For this hairstyle, I use curlers, duckbill clips, a hairnet, some Lotta Body Setting Lotion, water, pomade, Moroccan oil hairspray, my Denman 7 Row Styling Brush, and a comb. So it is Friday night. I showered, washed my hair, and let it dry for the most part, but I've got a spray bottle of water and the setting lotion so that I can re-wet the hair just for the finger waves. Now for recreating Veronica Lake's hairstyle, it's very subtle and natural, so I didn't want to do any pin curling at the top because I don't want any creases. Following the guideline for how they claimed that she set her hair, since they claimed her hair was naturally wavy, and that all that she had to do when she got to the studio was they did a single finger wave right here at the forehead. And recreate that, and then I'm going to use some curlers for the bottom. So the reason why I wanted to let the hair mostly dry is for the curlers. I don't want them to take 24 hours to dry, but the top part for the finger waving does need to be wet. So I'm just using a spray bottle with water. I'm going to make it quite damp. And I'm also going to apply some lot of body setting lotion. If you don't have setting lotion, you can use a mousse or a styling gel. I have a comb and I'm just going to start combing back and then bringing the hair forward. For the finger waves, you can use your hand as a base and apply clips into those grooves to hold them in place. For this section, we're just going to comb it back and create that groove that she has with your finger. Did you know that Veronica Lake's iconic peekaboo hairstyle was actually a mistake? Apparently, a lock of hair fell over her eye while on camera, creating her notorious peekaboo look. And I'm not gonna be finger waving around the entire head. Her waves didn't seem to really exist in the back this high up. I kind of was just in this bang section that I noticed most of the waving happening. Since we want to give the hair the ability to fall over the eye, we're going to make that large wave just above the brow, pulling it back towards the ear. So now you can grab your curlers. You can use whatever kind of curlers you have. I'm using these pink ones from Amazon. They have a foam roller in the middle and wire on either side. You can start by creating small one inch sections of hair and spraying them with setting lotion. After saturating the hair, I like to comb through it before I apply it to the roller. Curl the hair under and roll up towards the ear. Then you can fasten those wire ends. And we're going to repeat this process all the way around the base of the hair. So if you notice, I have these little hairs starting to poke out. That's a bad sign. It's just I have a little bit of layering in the front. So this front section has some varying lengths. And usually, the more wet the hair is, the more you're going to prevent that from happening. And you might want to roll a little higher and try and tuck those pieces in. And if that doesn't work, you can always try creating some smaller sections. Having the hair being the most consistent in length will be helpful. I like to start with those front sections and then work my way around to the back. Because the style only has volume on the bottom, we're not rolling our rollers all the way up to the hairline. 
This setting process took me about 25 minutes. To make the set more comfortable for sleeping, you can remove those duckbill clips. But I will be applying a hair scarf to maintain the style shape and to keep those rollers in place. Lately, I've been enjoying this slumber net from Lucille's Locks. The fabric is lightweight, breathable, and doesn't slip around like some of my silk scarves do. By pulling it taut, it should keep those waves in place. The setting process is complete. Now I can sleep comfortably and wait for everything to dry until tomorrow. Everything stayed pretty well in place throughout the night. There was a little bit of droopage, but for the most part, none of them fell out. And the waves have mostly stayed in place, but I am going to reform them with the comb and hold them in place with the clips for the styling. I really like these rollers a lot more compared to the typical sponge roller because there's no creasing from that plastic piece and I think they're easier to use in general. So as far as the curls go, I think they look very consistent and natural and I think once we brush them out we'll be able to get a similar result to the photos I've seen of Veronica Lake. In some of the pictures I've seen of her, her hair is curlier than others. Sometimes it's a bit more wavy. Sometimes it's like very straight and then it has a little bit of curl at the bottom. So I'm hoping to get some kind of result that reminds me of all of the pictures I've seen. And for the brush out, I'm going to use my Denman 7 Row Styling Brush. So how curly the style is, is kind of up to you. You can do smaller curls, bigger curls, smaller sections, and you can brush it out or as little as you want. You could just finger comb it and then just smooth out the top of the comb and leave it more curly on the bottom. But I'm gonna brush everything through to see how it turns out. I think the key points that I want to create were the, the waves in the front, the kind of smooth top with curlier ends. I think this is a great style if you have long hair, if you have naturally straight or wavy hair. I'm just gonna use my comb to smooth everything out. While Veronica Lake is most remembered for her roles in film noir, one of my favorite films of hers is called I Married a Witch, a romantic comedy about a witch who accidentally falls under her own spell and falls in love with a human. You can apply a little bit of pomade. I tend to use it to avoid static or flyaways. It just kind of creates a smoothness and a little bit of texture without adding too much hairspray because hairspray, hairspray is going to dull your hair. And while hairspray is necessary for most styling, if I can avoid it, I will. So I'm just I'm applying a little bit You could leave the style as is if you like it on the curlier side. But I decided to brush it out to make it as long as possible. I'm also resetting those waves with the duckbill clips. Another fact about Veronica Lake is that during World War II, she was asked to take publicity photos of her hair caught in wartime machinery to encourage women to wear styles that were less hazardous in the workplace. And to set the style, I'm applying some hairspray and a little bit of heat. What I 
love about this hairstyle is how simple and understated it is, but yet it's still very glamorous and reminds me of all of my favorite things of the old Hollywood glam era. If you enjoyed the video, you can give it a like. If there is another starlet style you would like to see, you can leave a comment below. And if you want to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe.